Hey, what's up, Scott Balkin here with Imagination Creation Films, and today, well, we're talking about these. These are the digital Sputnik Voyager. These are a tube light, but unlike any of the others, these are waterproof, they have 83 pixels, they're RGB, and uh, they're kind of just a little bit awesome. It was a cold and stormy night. Fire. Although burning bright does not do anything to warm his bones. <sighs> Lightning startles me. He longs, longs for his long lost wife who is gone far away. Will she return? <gasps> A car. Is it her? It is her. Oh, he's so excited. She's finally brought him the Snickers from the store that he wants so badly. I mean, really? Why not? Well, that intro was, uh, well, let's just call it interesting. But I wanted to show off what the tube lights can do. And before we talk about them, take a moment to ask to go ahead and click subscribe and, you know, be a part of this community because we're a growing community of filmmakers just like you and we feel like you'd be a great part of it. There are a lot of RGB tube lights out there and we don't really need to talk about what a tube light does for you because I mean, everyone's seen them by now. There's RGB, there's white, there's, there's all over the place. What sets the digital Sputnik apart is its feature set that others don't have. You can submerge these up to 10 meters underwater. That's right, underwater RGB lights. Now, on top of that, these are pixel-based RGB, which means you don't just turn one color string on of red, you can turn this red one on, you can turn this red one on, you can turn any of them on, and you can animate like you see right here. These are simple animations just done with their app, which we will dive into here in just a moment. These are battery based, which means you can run up to seven hours on batteries. They recharge right here in the end. You just fold the cap over and away they go. They can recharge in 90 minutes. They have simple interface, a power button and a select button. And that's about it. They come with these covers. These covers just slip on and they have a, a very softening effect to it. Otherwise, you're just going to see the harsh pixels, but I wanted you to see what the inside looks like. They mount very easily. There are these clip-on brackets that go on the back. If we just flip this up, we take this and flip it on the back and then you just clamp it down. Now you can mount this with a quarter 23 eighths, however you want. We have them on tripods over here that, that you can get. They are fairly easy to mount and uh, they're fairly easy to uh, well control. So let's take a look at the app itself. So to get started, you need to bond these to your app. So we open up the app, we see almost nothing, but if we can expand out here, we'll see that we have a workspace and we need to add some lamps. So we're gonna add lamps here. These are all the lamps that it shows. And to add these, you need to turn on Bluetooth and then you're gonna hold down a button on here. It's gonna show up, you can then add it and it will link and it will forever be in here. Now, I'm going to add in four of these, these four, not these other two. So let's add this one, this one, this one, and this one. And now we'll get rid of this. So now we can now separate these out and now we are good there. Now we can go in and we can select all. Now we're going to set effects and let's choose the water effect. And water is something that everyone has seen. Uh, do you want to copy the lamp positions to the FX mapping? Yes, we do. So we're gonna hit yes. And now we've got it playing. Now in here, we can make some changes. We can change color. Let's go over here. You can click anywhere in these six areas. If I click here, it's going to go up there. You can't click right here, it doesn't work. It puts it in the middle, but that's okay. 
You're just trying to get it in the general area. Then you're going to use the little joystick to bring it in to where you'd like it to be. It will map it. So right there, that's a nice golden color. So we're going to feel that sunset water uh, on our face that way. Or we can go over here and just do a really dark, deep blue. Let's just take it all the way to blue. Now we can set our intensity right here. We can go all the way up to bright. And that'll blow out your, your blue channel. We can bring it down and just keep it nice and mild. Let's say we're done. And uh, you also have your hue saturation all right here with your color temperature. So the app is actually pretty intuitive once you get through that learning curve, because you need to understand why it's having to do what it's having to do, because it's mapping video to pixels on these. So what we have here is we have our video, it's low res playing in the background, and each one of these is one of these lamps. So I could click on this lamp and I could say, which one is it? It's that one. Click on this one right here. Which one is it? It's this one. And you wanna kinda of place them in order or depending on the effect that you wanna do. Now, let's change the effect here. This is the water effect and it's pretty common. And that one is red because I changed the color and we can change that down here back to blue and then keep it and then it will cycle through and now it's ready to go. So we can go in here and set effects. We can change to, uh, let's see here. Let's go to the fire effect. Fire, you can see the actual fire. Now we have a fire effect. You can actually see the fire being played and it's literally playing it here. But let's see here, let's, let's set effects over here. Let's do a horizontal chase. Now it's caught up, it's fully rendered, and you can see that it is cruising. But we can take all of these, let's just move this out of the way, and we can shrink it down. So now it's only gonna come across, and it's gonna, it's gonna take most of these at a time, it's gonna go fast. But what say we do at a diagonal? But you can see right here, these are not exactly capturing the right way. So let's, let's angle these. Let's take each one of these and line them up down over here. Let's start at the beginning. Take this one, go right here. Take this one, take it to the end. Take this one and go there. Now, watch what happens. So let's, let's mess with these effects even further. Let's go in here in FX settings. Let's change the frames per second and speed it up. So now you can get a star field simulation. If you put these next to your face, you'll get them zooming by. I was doing the car effect at the beginning by having six of them with a fade that goes in between them all. We can also increase this all the way up to 100. We could slow this way, way down. So like I said earlier, there are a lot of tube lights out there and these are not the brightest out there, but they are waterproof. You can submerge them up to 10 meters. You can get white light down there, red light underwater. You can get blue, oh, that's kind of boring. Everybody does blue, but you can do it underwater. You can do it above water. You can animate. You can animate your light with a low res video or low res photo, or you can even draw like these are just simple gradients that are animated to, to go across the screen. You can do that. You can paint with light and that allows you to do some really cool effects on people rather than having just static lights or even simple little animated lights that are stationary. You can line all these up in a string and have a chase go right by. You could turn these sideways right up against the face and zoom light, white light across it simulating a star field. Uh, there's, there's a lot you can do. It just takes a little bit of time to learn this app um, and, and get through it. But once you understand it, it really does flow a lot easier. So what are some pros and cons? Well, cons are they are low power output. So they don't, they don't go as bright as some of the others. Uh, they're about half as bright as, as some of the other ones. Um, the cost of these is, uh, it's, uh, it's pretty high, although quite honestly, they're on par with some of the others that are battery powered. Um, the, the app learning curve is a little bit of a con, 
But, and I always say that when I do the cons because not all the cons are absolute problems. They, they just are, you know, kind of nitpicks and negatives. Uh, these lights can be a little finicky unless you learn how to use them with the buttons and how to turn them on properly, how to link them. Um, another con can be uh, the, the distance that you go with these lights. So they are Wi-Fi based. Uh, you'll need a router to really make these things go uh, far away. Uh, I would not go more than 20 feet without a router just so that you can uh, maintain a solid connection and not have to worry about them. Um, pros, well, they're waterproof, up to 10 meters, that's a big pro. 83 mappable pixels, that's a huge pro. They're battery powered for seven hours, well, up to seven hours, and they can recharge in 90 minutes. That's a pro. They are a nice, soft, white light if you want it as a tube light. That's a pro. Um, the app is very powerful, and that's a pro. There's a lot you can do with these lights. They're not for everyone, but if you allow the animation to enter your brain and your creativity, all of a sudden it becomes limitless and you can do so much more on set than you thought you could. And I like them. I've, I've had to adjust how I think just to incorporate these in because these open your creativity and not just close them down. Uh, I mean, I've really enjoyed using them. Now, in, in full disclosure, they were sent to me for evaluation, but as always, I get to say whatever I want, and I have. Um, it's, it's really worth checking these out. And if you are a member of the Red Komodo Users Group on Facebook, I urge you to go out there really quickly. There is a deal on these, and it's a pretty phenomenal deal. So I would jump on that as soon as possible. Uh, as always, if you have any questions or comments, put them down below. I'll try to read and respond to each and every one. You can remember you can support me with any links down below. Um, remember to like and subscribe and tell all your friends. And as always, as I like to leave it, don't let your passions center around your life. Let your life center around your passions. Mm -hmm.